Rocky was a bad dog. She didn't like walks, baths, or other dogs. And she really didn't like to listen. Rocky, stay. She was a bad dog. But Rocky was great at climbing. Bad dog, Rocky, come down. And boy, did she love to sleep. And she had the cutest little nose and never ever barked. Maybe Rocky wasn't a bad dog after all. Look for this perfect book, Bad Dog, at your Scholastic Book Fair. Fry bread is food. It is warm and delicious, piled high on a plate. Fry bread is time. It brings families together for meals and new memories. Fry bread is nation. It is shared by many, from coast to coast and beyond. Fry bread is us. It is a celebration of old and new, traditional and modern, similarity and difference. Told in lively and powerful verse by debut author Kevin Noble Maillard, Fry Bread is an evocative depiction of a modern Native American family, vibrantly illustrated by Pura Belpre Award winner and Caldecott honoree Juana Martinez Neal. Dreamscape presents Fry Bread. The Happy Book and Other Feelings by Andy Rash Camper is one happy camper, and Clam is happy as a clam. But what happens when those feelings begin to change? Can their friendship withstand the emotional journey ahead? Join Camper and Clam as they leave the happy book behind and get real about their feelings. This hilarious graphic novel style picture book will have you laughing through your sadness, Hunk. anger, Bacock. and fear. Uh oh, spiders! Will Camper and Clam ever make it back to the happy book? Or will they end up someplace even better? Find out by reading The Happy Book and Other Feelings by Andy Rash. Hey, Lizette, I am a tiger. No, Michael, I am a tiger. Well, Lizette, we both are wrong. In the new book, I am a tiger, Mouse is actually the tiger, or at least he thinks he is. And he manages to convince fox, raccoon, snake, and bird he's one too. After all, Mouse can climb a tree like a tiger and hunt for his lunch too. But when a real tiger shows up, can Mouse keep up his act? With hilarious text by Carl Newson and bright and vivid illustrations by Ross Collins, this uproariously funny read aloud picture book encourages children to use their imaginations and be who they want to be. I, I mean, mean, who, who doesn't, doesn't want to be, be a tiger? tiger?
My name is Kate by Steele and I write and illustrate books for kids. I made a book called A Normal Pig. A Normal Pig is a story about a pig named Pip. She likes drawing, cooking with her family, and thinking about what she wants to be when she grows up. Everything about her childhood is pretty normal, and everything changes when a new pig points out her differences, starting with the lunch that her dad packs for her. A Normal Pig is about the concept of normal and who gets to say what normal means. When I was little, I believed that the world could be separated into two parts. There were normal people who did normal things, and then there were weird people who did weird things. The idea of normal was something that I never really questioned as a kid, but I definitely knew from my lived experience that I was squarely outside the norm. As I'm starting to share a normal pig, I'm surprised by how much the story is resonating with readers, and it's exciting to see how it opens up the conversation around topics of identity and acceptance. I'm really proud of this book, and I'm very excited to share it with you all. I'm Ashley Franklin, and I'm the author of Not Quite Snow White. I wrote Not Quite Snow White because I wanted a book that showed the type of princess that I wanted to be when I was younger. I wanted a princess that could be anybody or anything she wanted to be, no matter what she looked like. Tamika is a bold, fun-loving girl who loves the theater. She can sing, she can act, and she can dance. She is very confident. So when the opportunity comes for her to play her favorite role, that of a princess, naturally she takes it. Tamika tries out for the role of Princess Snow White, but the other students aren't too sure that she's just quite right for the role. Is something wrong? Asked her mom. The other kids said I'm too tall, too chubby, and too brown. I'm not right for Snow White, said Tamika. You've got it all wrong, mom said. Besides, said her dad, you're just enough of all the right stuff. You can be anything you want to be. You have the ability to reach for your dreams, and it's okay if you're scared along the way. Look for my book, Not Quite Snow White, at your Scholastic Book Fair. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high on the swings and explore wild, far away places. Sometimes she even went to the very bottom of the garden. But one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry at first, but soon the worry started to grow and it just wouldn't leave her alone. It was always there, and it was stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Find out how Ruby gets rid of her worry in Ruby's Worry, the brand new picture book by Tom Percival.